Um, hey guys, so yeah, uh, so today we're going to be looking at uh, an intro to stats. So intro to stats with Mathematica. Okay, cool. Okay, and um, so I've got a, um, a set males, the following figures. I'm just going to copy that from my... Maple spreadsheet, uh, maple worksheet. So those are my males, and then the females. Yeah, I'll just copy the same, uh, copy the data again from here. So remove the square brackets. So this is uh, essentially the set of uh, of a group of females, and likewise the males is the same as well. Okay, cool. So um, I need to find the mean um, for my data. So I'll type in um, n, then um, mean males, then n, then mean the females as well. Okay, cool. And then I need to find the, the median. So uh, the median. The median for female uh, for females as well. Okay, and then uh, taking things a bit further, um, I'm going to find the mod. So the mod for my males, it just uh, it just uh, prints out the whole the whole set because each number appears once, so it just does the whole set. Okay, cool. And then uh, then mod. For females, yeah. So obviously the mod is um, uh, the number that occurs most frequent frequently in the set. So each number occurs once. So it's just going to print out the whole set. Okay, cool. And then um, after the mod, uh, I need to find uh, the the variance. Okay, so variance for my males. All right, so let's just get the numerical value. So there we are. Then the variance for, uh, so I'll type in N, then the variance for females. So there we are. So 924.944, which is the same as here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then um, I need to find the standard deviation. So standard. Type in N, then standard deviation. Standard deviation uh, for the fume for the males. And then N, then standard deviation for the females as well. Okay, cool. So after the standard deviation, so here we are. So that's the standard deviation for the females, 30.41. Yeah, 30.41. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is now, we, I just need to show you something that um, um, the standard deviation um, is the square root of the variance. Okay, so um, square root, then I'll use the females. Come on, copy, paste that in there. Okay, so that's um, the standard deviation for the females. Which is true, okay, cool. Right, so now what we need to do is we need to find uh, the, um, the covariant for both, um, 
What's that? Okay, so I'll get the numerical value. So minus 29.8472. Okay, and then um, we will, what we also need to do is find the, the harmonic mean and um, the geometric mean. So I'll settle for the geometric mean. So geometric. which is uh, for the males. So I'll get a numerical value. Okay. And then, um, so the geometric min, you can obviously, if you want to work it out manually and stuff here, so it's basically what we're basically doing it this way. So you multiply all the, the numbers in the set and raise them to the, the nth root of um, that's it. So okay, so let's let, let me just show you an example. So I'll just do it on, on Wolfram Alpha. So my set of numbers for the males. Come on, copy. And then um, Actually, let me just do this quickly. Okay, so so then we raise that to one over nine. So then the ninth, the ninth root. So the nine is coming from the num. There's the total numbers. So there's one, two. There's nine numbers in the set. Okay, so one over nine. Then uh, it processes that. So there we are. So that's the uh, uh, decimal approximation, 42.43. So there we are. Okay, cool. So that's how we get the geometric set and the geometric mean. And then we want to do the harmonic mean. So harmonic. Uh, for the females. And then this numerical value. And then harmonic mean for the males. Okay, so there we are. Oh, we can just do it this way. Yeah, so take two point eight seven one nine. So 32.8719. Okay, cool. So yeah, so this is just a vid uh, using Mathematica doing some stats, basic stats. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll greatly appreciate that. Okay, cool. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day. Bye.